हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मा ज्ञान एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइटल ट्वेंटी वन फूड एंड ड्रग्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन चैप्टर वन फूड एंड ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हेल्थ एंड ह्यूमन सर्विसेज सब चैप्टर सी ड्रग्स जनरल इन विच पार्ट टू वन वन विच इज करेंट गुड मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिस फॉर फिनिश फार्मास्यूटिकल्स गाइज प्लीज डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फार्मा ज्ञान गाइज दिस वीडियो हैज़ फोर पार्ट्स लाइक पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री एंड पार्ट फोर इन विच वी विल डिस्कस द कम्प्लीट ट्वेंटी वन सी एफ आर कोड ऑफ फेडरल रेगुलेशन फ्रॉम द यू एस एफ डी ए इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सब पार्ट ए जनरल प्रोविजन सब पार्ट बी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड पर्सनल सब पार्ट सी बिल्डिंग्स एंड फैसिलिटीज सब पार्ट डी इक्विपमेंट्स scope eight the regulations in this part contain the minimum current good manufacturing practice for preparation of drug products excluding positron emission tomography drugs for administration to humans or animals b the current good manufacturing practice regulations in this chapter as they pertain to drug products in part 600 through 680 of this chapter as they pertain to drugs that are also biological products for human use and in part 1271 of this chapter as they are applicable to drugs that are also human cells tissues and cellular and tissue based products hct and that are drugs subject to review under an application submitted under section 505 of the act or under a biological product license application under section 351 of the public health service act supplement and do not supersede the regulations in this part unless the regulations explicitly provide otherwise In the event of a conflict between applicable regulations in this part and in other parts of this chapter or in part 600 through 680 of this chapter or in part 1271 of this chapter the regulation specifically applicable to the drug product in question shall supersede the more general C pending consideration of a proposed exemption published in the Federal Register of September 29 1978 the requirements in this part shall not be enforced for OTC drug products if the products and all their ingredients are ordinarily marketed and consumed as human foods and which products may also fall within the legal definition of drugs by virtue of their intended use Therefore until further notice regulations under parts 110 and 117 of this chapter and where applicable parts 113 through 129 of this chapter shall be applied in determining whether these OTC drug products that are also foods are manufactured processed packed or held under current good manufacturing practice We will discuss the de- about definitions in a separate video Responsibilities of Quality Control Unit. A. There shall be a quality control unit that shall have the responsibility and authority to approve or reject all components, drug product containers, closures, in process materials, packaging material, labeling, and drug products, and the authority to review production records to assure that no errors have occurred or, if errors have occurred, that they have been fully investigated. The quality control unit shall be responsible for approving or rejecting drug products manufactured, processed, packed, or held under contract by another company. B. Adequate laboratory facilities for the testing and approval or rejection of components, drug product containers, closures, packaging materials, in process materials, and drug products shall be available to the quality control unit. C. The quality control unit shall have the responsibility for approving or rejecting all procedures or specifications impacting on the identity, strength, quality, and purity of the drug product. D. The responsibilities and procedures applicable to the quality control unit shall be in writing. Such written procedures shall be followed. Personnel qualifications. A. Each person engaged in the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product shall have education, training, and experience, or any combination thereof, to enable that person to perform the assigned functions. Training shall be in the particular operations that the employee performs in in current good manufacturing practice including the current good manufacturing practice regulations in this chapter and written procedures required by these regulations as they relate to the employee's functions Training in current good manufacturing practice shall be conducted by qualified individuals on a continuing basis and with sufficient frequency to assure that employees remain familiar with CGMP requirements applicable to them 
be each person responsible for supervising the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product shall have the education, training, and experience or any combination thereof, to perform assigned functions in such a manner as to provide assurance that the drug product has the safety, identity, strength, quality, and purity that it purports or is represented to possess. C. There shall be an adequate number of qualified personnel to perform and supervise the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of each drug product. Personnel Responsibilities A. Personnel engaged in the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product shall wear clean clothing appropriate for the duties they perform. Protective apparel, such as head, face, hand, and arm coverings, shall be worn as necessary to protect drug products from contamination. B. Personnel shall practice good sanitation and health habits. C. Only personnel authorized by supervisory personnel shall enter those areas of the buildings and facilities designated as limited access areas. D. Any person shown at any time, either by medical examination or supervisory observation, to have an apparent illness or open lesions that may adversely affect the safety or quality of drug products shall be excluded from direct contact with components, drug product containers, closures, in-process materials, and drug products until the condition is corrected or determined by competent medical personnel not to jeopardize the safety or quality of drug products. All personnel shall be instructed to report to supervisory personnel any health conditions that may have an adverse effect on drug products. Consultants Consultants advising on the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of drug products shall have sufficient education, training, and experience or any combination thereof to advise on the subject for which they are retained. Records shall be maintained stating the name, address, and qualifications of any consultants and the type of service they provide. Design and construction features. A. Any building or buildings used in the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product shall be of suitable size, construction and location to facilitate cleaning, maintenance, and proper operations. B. Any such building shall have adequate space for the orderly placement of equipment and materials to prevent mix-ups between different components, drug product containers, closures, labeling, in-process materials, or drug products, and to prevent contamination. The flow of components, drug product containers, closures, labeling, in-process materials, and drug products through the building or buildings shall be designed to prevent contamination. C. Operations shall be performed within specifically defined areas of adequate size. There shall be separate or defined areas or such other control systems for the firm's operations as are necessary to prevent contamination or mix-ups during the course of the following procedures. 1. Receipt, identification, storage, and withholding from use of components, drug product containers, closures, and labeling, pending the appropriate sampling, testing, or examination by the quality control unit before release for manufacturing or packaging. 2. Holding rejected components, drug product containers, closures, and labeling before disposition. 3. Storage of released components, drug product containers, closures, and labeling. 4. Storage of in-process materials. 5. Manufacturing and Processing Operations 6. Packaging and Labeling Operations 7. Quarantine Storage Before Release of Drug Products 8. Storage of Drug Products After Release 9. Control and Laboratory Operations 10. Aseptic Processing, which includes as appropriate Eye floors, walls, and ceilings of smooth, hard surfaces that are easily cleanable E. Temperature and Humidity Controls E. An air supply filter through high-efficiency particulate air filters under positive pressure, regardless of whether flow is laminar or non-laminar. If a system for monitoring environmental conditions. B. A system for cleaning and disinfecting the room and equipment to produce aseptic conditions. Y. A system for maintaining any equipment used to control the aseptic conditions. D. Operations relating to the manufacture, processing, and packing of penicillin shall be performed in facilities separate from those used for other drug products for human use. Adequate lighting shall be provided in all areas. A. Adequate ventilation shall be provided. B. Equipment for adequate control over air pressure, microorganisms, dust, humidity, and temperature shall be provided when appropriate for the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product. C. Air filtration systems, including prefilters and particulate matter air filters, shall be used when appropriate on air supplies to production areas. If air is recirculated to production areas, measures shall be taken to control recirculation of dust from production. In areas where air contamination occurs during production, there shall be adequate exhaust systems or other systems adequate to control contaminants. 
DA handling systems for the manufacture, processing, and packing of penicillin shall be completely separate from those for other drug products for human use. Plumbing. A portable water shall be supplied under continuous positive pressure in a plumbing system free of defects that could contribute contamination to any drug product. Portable water shall meet the standards prescribed in the Environmental Protection Agency Primary Drinking Water Regulations set forth in 40 CFR Part 141. Water not meeting such standards shall not be permitted in the portable water system. B. Drains shall be of adequate size and, where connected directly to a sieve, shall be provided with an air brake or other mechanical device to prevent back siphonage. Savage and refuse. Savage, trash, and other refuse in and from the building and immediate premises shall be disposed of in a safe and sanitary manner. Washing and toilet facilities. Adequate washing facilities shall be provided, including hot and cold water, soap or detergent, air dryers or single service towels, and clean toilet facilities easily accessible to working areas. Sanitation. A. Any building used in the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product shall be maintained in a clean and sanitary condition. Any such building shall be free of infestation by rodents, birds, insects, and other vermin other than laboratory animals. Trash and organic waste matter shall be held and disposed of in a timely and sanitary manner. B. There shall be written procedures assigning responsibility for sanitation and describing in sufficient detail the cleaning schedules, methods, equipment, and materials to be used in cleaning the buildings and facilities. Such written procedures shall be followed. C. There shall be written procedures for use of suitable rodenticides, insecticides, fungicides, fumigating agents, and cleaning and sanitizing agents. Such written procedures shall be designed to prevent the contamination of equipment, components, drug product containers, closures, packaging, labeling materials, or drug products and shall be followed. Rodenticides, insecticides, and fungicides shall not be used unless registered and used in accordance with the Federal Insecticide, Fungicide, and Rodenticide Act, 7 U.S.C. Aixop Antis. D. Sanitation procedures shall apply to work performed by contractors or temporary employees as well as work performed by full-time employees during the ordinary course of operations. Maintenance. Any building used in the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product shall be maintained in a good state of repair. Equipment design, size, and location. Equipment used in the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product shall be of appropriate design, adequate size, and suitably located to facilitate operations for its intended use and for its cleaning and maintenance. Equipment construction. A. Equipment shall be constructed so that surfaces that contact components, in process materials, or drug products shall not be reactive, additive, or absorptive so as to alter the safety, identity, strength, quality, or purity of the drug product beyond the official or other established requirements. B. Any substances required for operation, such as lubricants or coolants, shall not come into contact with components, drug product containers, closures, in-process materials, or drug products so as to alter the safety, identity, strength, quality, or purity of the drug product beyond the official or other established requirements. Equipment Cleaning and Maintenance A. Equipment and utensils shall be cleaned, maintained, and, as appropriate for the nature of the drug, sanitized, sterilized at appropriate intervals to prevent malfunctions or contamination that would alter the safety, identity, strength, quality, or purity of the drug product beyond the official or other established requirements. B. Written procedures shall be established and followed for cleaning and maintenance of equipment, including utensils, used in the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product. These procedures shall include, but are not necessarily limited to, the following. 1. Assignment of responsibility for cleaning and maintaining equipment. 2. Maintenance and cleaning schedules, including, where appropriate, sanitizing schedules. 3. A description in sufficient detail of the methods, equipment, and materials used in cleaning and maintenance operations, and the methods of disassembling and reassembling equipment is necessary to assure proper cleaning and maintenance. 4. Removal or obliteration of previous batch identification. 5. Protection of clean equipment from contamination prior to use. 6. Inspection of equipment for cleanliness immediately before use. C. Records shall be kept of maintenance, cleaning, sanitizing, and inspection as specified in 211.180 and 211.182. Automatic, mechanical, and electronic equipment. 
a automatic mechanical or electronic equipment or other types of equipment including computers or related systems that will perform a function satisfactorily may be used in the manufacture processing packing and holding of a drug product if such equipment is so used it shall be routinely calibrated inspected or checked according to a written program designed to assure proper performance written records of those calibration checks and inspections shall be maintained B. Appropriate controls shall be exercised over computer-related systems to assure that changes in master production and control records or other records are instituted only by authorized personnel. Input to and output from the computer-related system of formulas or other records or data shall be checked for accuracy. The degree and frequency of input-output verification shall be based on the complexity and reliability of the computer-related system. A backup file of data entered into the computer-related system shall be maintained except where certain data, such as calculations performed in connection with laboratory analysis, are eliminated by computerization or other automated processes. In such instances a written record of the program shall be maintained along with appropriate validation data. Hard copy or alternative systems, such as duplicates, tapes, or microfilm, designed to assure that backup data are exact and complete and that it is secure from alteration, inadvertent erasures, or loss shall be maintained. C. Such automated equipment used for performance of operations addressed by 211.101, C, or D, 211.103, 211.182, or 211.188, B, 11, can satisfy the requirements included in those sections relating to the performance of an operation by one person and checking by another person if such equipment is used in conformity with this section, and one person checks that the equipment properly performed the operation. Filters. Filters for liquid filtration used in the manufacture, processing, or packing of injectable drug products intended for human use shall not release fibers into such products. Fiber releasing filters may be used when it is not possible to manufacture such products without the use of these filters. If use of a fiber releasing filter is necessary, an additional non fiber releasing filter having a maximum nominal pore size rating of 0.2 micron, 0.45 micron if the manufacturing conditions so dictate, shall subsequently be used to reduce the content of particles in the injectable drug product. The use of an asbestos containing filter is prohibited.